Good morning and welcome back to Stampin' All Day with Bev. Today I'm going to feature two stamp sets. One is called Swallowtail. It's that large beautiful butterfly that we have on page 98 of the annual current Stampin' Up! Uh, catalog. And then the other is Gorgeous Grunge which is on page 165 of the same catalog. This is a very nice set to have as filler um, for a lot of projects, pretty much any project. I love um, the spreckles that they have here in different sizes and then the lines um, for different projects too. It just really helps fill in all of your products nicely, all of your products, your um, projects. I wanted to make this card today because I made it the other day for my daughter for her birthday and when I showed it to my husband he said oh my gosh that looks like a real butterfly and I said it does oh okay um, maybe I just looked at it too long and didn't notice it but after he said that I was like it does it really does so the name of this technique I've named it pressed butterfly like pressed flowers that's what it looks like and then when we um, went out to dinner Jenny and Steve and Courtney um, and I were having dinner and she reached over and said I'm gonna open my card she looked at that and Steve looked over and he says oh my gosh is that a real butterfly no I would not press a real butterfly in fact is there butterflies that big but um, everybody passed it around I was like man that looks real so I was real happy with that and I thought well I'll share it with my customers because um, it's a great looking card. I'm using very vanilla cardstock and the and the uh, stamp swallowtail. And when I have a large stamp like this, I like to turn it face up at me and place the ink on top of the stamp so I can make sure that I have stamped, got ink on all parts of the stamp. The color I'm using is Marina Mist. It's a beautiful blue color. And I'm going to place this butterfly at an angle. Then I need to stand up and put full pressure onto my stamp every time I stamp something large like this. Hold my paper and lift, and then you have this beautiful image onto your vanilla cardstock. Next, the filler that I talked about, um, the little Spreckle from Gorgeous Grunge. I'm just going to tap that. Now this, oops, I need some more adhesive on here. If you ever have um, a problem with your stamps sticking to your clear blocks, that's my solution. I just put snail on the block, a little tiny little run of snail, and then I don't have that issue anymore. And I don't have to worry about my stamp coming off and ruining whatever it is I'm making. Okay, see that added little texture there and Spreckle, I just love what gorgeous grudge, how it changes up your product project. Marina Mist is the ink, as I mentioned earlier. Okay, now for some texture. I wanted to um, add some texture to this card, so I'm going to bring over my texture boutique, and I'm going to put my card Actually, this is a layer size piece here, four and a quarter by five and a quarter. I'm sorry, four by five and a quarter. Whew, almost gave you the wrong measurements. Okay, just place it right in there like that. This is my favorite um, folder for texturing. Then bring over my boutique. One plaque underneath, one above. Run it through. Love this little guy. I just got it um, not too long ago, and I just keep it right here at my desk because my Big Shop bar is on the other side of my shop. And so when I want to use a folder now, I just have this right at my desk, and I don't have to get up and get any exercise. Okay, so look at this texture here now. Can you see that? Okay. All right. And then I stamped a second time with the same ink onto cardstock vellum. That's hard for you to see here in the video because it's white and it's see-through, so it's, it's very hard to see. And that is why I stamped on vanilla. So when you put this 
over it, you can still see it very well. Um, and um, it's just perfect for um, to show through. Having a hard time talking today. Sorry, guys. So here is my butterfly stamped on vellum. Is that not gorgeous? I just love it. Now what I do is I take some dimensionals and a pair of scissors here and I cut off the long little pieces that you will find on the edge of your dimensionals. And peel those off. the hardest part of the card, huh? Let's see, let's start down here. Did I cut them good? Yes, I did. Okay. See where there's a lot of detail here on the stamp? That's where I'm going to place my dimensional because um, I don't want it to show through the card when I get it all together. So, um, did I cut that side? Maybe I cut this side. I don't know what side I cut. Let's cut some more. Let's just make it easy on me. Okay. And I'm going to put two to hold the vellum down onto the base of the card. One there. Let's see if I can get this original. I did. Okay, and then one there. Okay, so four little pieces of dimensional there. Took my snips and cut out the butterfly um, from the vellum cardstock. And now I'm going to, when I cut it out, I didn't cut out the little um, antennas there because they're on the original card, so that will take over for you at that point. Now I just line it up till everything looks nice and clear. You'll be able to tell exactly when it's lined up. And then I just cut off the pieces that are overlapping the layer size of cardstock. Okay, and look at how it, it just already looks like a real pressed butterfly. I'm going to take my vanilla cardstock and fold that in half. That is just one piece of regular eight and a half by eleven cardstock cut in half at four and a quarter. My bone folder. Wing back my project for a perfect um, seam there. And then place my butterfly down. I am going to also mount this with dimensionals just for some added lift. I have Oh my goodness, at least five friends that that I want to send a little thinking of you card to because they're having some health issues right now or some problems. And then um, I have a birthday today at Bible study in about 40 minutes, 35, 40 minutes. And um, so I wanted to give her a card. And so this card is perfect. It's perfect for thinking of you. It's perfect for happy birthday. It's in marina mist and vanilla, but I want to make a variety of these and have them on hand using, oh, I don't know, strawberry slush and, and our different um, yellows and our different oranges. And I believe it would look, I haven't done it yet, but in my head I see um, our Memento Tuxedo Black ink stamped and then color on the back with either our blender pens in oranges and yellows for a monarch type of butterfly or um, any other color that you would like and I'm, I'm sure that would be beautiful. So I have already, because this card is so quick and easy, I've already made quite a few of them. And this one has a pink flowery background on it just to make it a little bit different. So um, you can do, of course, whatever you want to yours, but what I wanted to teach you today was that stamping on the vellum cardstock, cutting it out, placing it on top of the original stamped image, running everything through a, a texture folder just creates a pressed look. 
So um, don't know if it works with flowers or not yet. I haven't had a chance to um, try it, but it's in my head too. So maybe one of these days I'll do that and I can show you how that came out too. Thank you so much for stopping by. I enjoy my time with you. I enjoy hearing all your comments about um, what you saw on my videos. Come back again. See you soon. Bye-bye.